Hi, this is Ahmed. I am a senior backend engineer in the Secure Secret Detection team. And in this video, I would like to introduce Secret Push Protection, a feature that is now in beta for GitLab.com and GitLab dedicated customers. So what do we mean by a secret? A secret can be any of the following. It could be a password, SSH key, an ABI secret, an encryption key, or database credentials. Secrets are often used by applications to authenticate and provide access to sensitive data. Protecting them is important as leaks can cause data breaches. But why is leaking secrets bad? We talked about them causing data breaches. But let's talk about the numbers. It has been found out that 83% of organizations experience a security breach that involved compromised credentials. It's also the number one method used for breaching web allocations. So where does secret push protection fit? Or how does it help? In a normal scenario, a developer would commit their code. They would then try to push that code to a repository. And this would work just fine. But what happens if the commit included some type of a secret by mistake? In such case, the secret would already be leaked. To prevent this, and in order to make sure no secrets are leaked, Secret Push Protection scans the code after it is pushed and before it is committed to a repository. If the code did indeed have some type of a secret, then the bush is blocked. This means we prevent secrets before they are leaked in the first place. We block bushing code that contains any high confidence secrets. This reduces the time and energy a team could spend on remediating leaked secrets. How to enable the feature. This depends on whether you are enabling this on GitLab.com or GitLab dedicated. For GitLab.com, the feature would already be enabled in instance wide. So you could skip to the next section. If you are enabling this on GitLab dedicated, you would have to make sure the feature is enabled first in instance wide. This is usually done by the uh, administrator of your instance. If you are the administrator, follow these steps. Navigate to the admin area, settings, and then security and compliance. Expand secret detection. Tick allow secret push protection checkbox. If you are enabling this per project, you would have to navigate, so either search or go to the project you are enabling the feature for, go to secure, security configuration, and turn on the secret push protection toggle. In some cases, you may need secret push protection to skip scanning the code. This could be, for instance, if you are committing some kind of a dummy secret that is used for testing. Let's go back to our example. A developer is trying to push some code. When they are pushing the code, in order to skip secret push protection, they would have to use a git push option. The git push option is normally passed on the terminal to the git client. In such case, when the push option is detected, scanning is skipped and then the push passes. So this push option was used to skip scanning the entire set of changes. When scanning is skipped, no secrets will be detected. 
the bush passes and the changes are committed to the repository. There is also an option to use a special commit message in cases where using the git push option would not be possible. For example, in workflows like the web IDE or in other graphical user interfaces. If you are an administrator or someone in the security or compliance team in your company, you may wonder how to audit secret push protection. Secret push protection records an audit event for each time the feature is enabled or disabled at the instance level. This is also the same for when the feature is enabled or disabled at the project level. Additionally, an audit event is created when the feature is skipped, whether this is via an, a push option or via a commit message. That's it. In the description, you will find links to the documentation where you can learn more about secret bush protection. You can also watch the rest of the videos in this uh, YouTube playlist to learn more about the feature. Thank you for watching.